hi everyone happy be here in this video I'm going to make a 3d vista tutorial and it is about how to use how to call a JavaScript function or API to trigger a hotspot click let's say uh, to trigger a button click using JavaScript Previously on my uh, video that I had about 3D Vista, let me show you. If you are in my channel, totally no, you can find uh, 3D Vista. This one. Uh, this one, I think. How to change 3D Vista panorama? scene how to go to another scene by using javascript i was showing you how to change this panorama to another panorama by calling a javascript function and that javascript function you can find it on the dot html dot htm file of this virtual tool if you in this page in your tour page and you can press the control button control and i no control and u to see the source of the page you can find this function function such as pause pause tour resume tour and set media by index set media by name these two functions I think I have shown you in one of this video so let me show you again here how to change panorama or the, how to change a scene you can use it use this one this function no set media by name you can copy this function name paste it here paste and you need a string parameter which is the scene name this scene name is scene 1 I have another scene which is scene 2 I, if I want to go to scene 2 I can call this function with this parameter scene 2 and I press enter Yes, this is my 3D Vista and this is scene 1 and scene 2 and I forgot to publish the the tour let me publish it so basically I have this scene 1 and scene 2 panorama now if I refresh the tour And if I call that function again, set media by name scene two, I will be able to go to the next scene. You see that? Now, if I want to go back to my previous scene, I can type scene one here. That is how to change scenes in 3D Vista using JavaScript API. This thing, I think you cannot find it on any 3D Vista documentation. They do not provide that information, but I extracted it from the main page source code. And it is easy. We have set media by name here and set media by index. If you don't want to use in uh, scene name, you can use the index number by index and here in here you will need a uh, number of the scene for example the second scene should be has the index one and the previous scene should be has should be zero you see that 
you can extract and try the functions inside this page for example this post store you see this camera rotation effect you can post the tour by calling that function let me copy and paste it here you see it is post and if you want to resume it you just call this resume tool function interesting right you cannot find this information on 3d vista on 3d vista website you can google something like uh, deep deep linking 3d vista you can find such information how to do deep linking but it is not javascript it is here uh, something like url parameter for example this one media name trigger overlay name replace the base link with your tools with yours and the capital letter it is url parameter to use it you need to use this kind of url index.htm and media name o why did i delete it index.htm media name for example the media name if I, this is the second scene if i want to go to previous scene using url i need to type scene one and here if you want to trigger a button you need to type the button for example let me go to my first scene and i'm going to go to the second scene and trigger a button i, I have a button here on the second scene if you see this button it has this name button i'm going to click that button on the second scene so i go to this url oops without l i remove the l it's not scene one oh man scene two i'm sorry scene two and trigger overlay name button now directly i am uh, inside this second scene if i turn this url and this button is trigger if you want to see the difference i have this second page let me show you this button it has an action if i click this button it is showing another hotspot above it i click it it is showing here now if i go using this url index.htm media scene 2 and trigger the button i can directly trigger this button click to show this hotspot above it that is url parameter that is uh, explained here but to use javascript you cannot find the information i cannot find it and i don't know if you can find it if you want to use this url instead of javascript every time you access a url your virtual tour will be reset and restarted uh, especially if has some intro or something like an overlay for example if you have a video or audio 
in your virtual tour you need to click the tour before you can start it if if you want to directly go to open the second scene like this it will show the overlay and something like click this uh, screen to start the tour like that but if you use javascript you can change the scene directly without having that overlay being show showed up like this simple and what about how to trigger a button or the hotspot click using this javascript api it is also explained here in the source code you have this one set uh, this one trigger overlay by name to use this function i'm going to show you how to use this function right now i'm here right on my first scene and let me go to the second scene we have this button so i'm going to go back to my previous scene and i will call a function to let me go to the second scene and also to tra trigger that button so i will paste this function and it has three parameters first name is item second is name event name the first one you should type this set media by index or by name you can do use index i type one which is the second scene the name will be the name of the hotspot that we are going to click in this case button and this third parameter should be click if you want to trigger the click event now if i press enter i go to the second scene and this is this button is click and this hotspot is popped up showed up you see that let me do it again i will go to second scene and trigger the button click of this hotspot you can also use set media by name if you don't want to use index and here you need the scene name which is scene 2 okay folks that's all for this video i hope you like this video i was trying to figure out how to trigger a hotspot click by using javascript uh, function call and i found out that these functions on the indexed html htm file are useful for us but there remains a mystery to me i cannot for example let me show you if i am already inside this inside this second scene if i'm already inside this scene i i cannot figure out how to trigger this button click by using the same function so here if i call this function scene 2 set media by name scene 2 and trigger button if i press enter it did not trigger the button click if i'm inside this function uh, if i'm inside this scene if i'm on the other scene i can easily go to that scene scene 2 and to trigger the button click but this doesn't work if i'm already inside this scene i don't know why and i'm still figuring out how to trigger this button if i'm already inside this scene i don't know how if you have any information about this please share with us guys Come, leave your comment on the comment section below okay i hope you like it see you soon on my next videos bye bye guys